நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா James chapter 5 verse 7 Be patient then brothers and sisters until the Lord's coming See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop patiently waiting for the autumn and spring rains patiently wait like how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop just like a farmer patiently waits for the autumn and spring rains and for the harvest we the children of god should surrender all our expectations in his presence and wait patiently at the right time the lord will give you an overflowing blessing a bountiful harvest is waiting for you imagine what happens when a farmer is impatient can he make the clouds rain can he gather all the clouds and make it rain in his fields can he bring down the mist upon his crops can he make the sun shine upon his fields no the farmer can't do this a farmer's job is to sow the rest of the work belongs to the lord he will bring rain at the right time he will make the sun shine he will make the mist cover he will do all that all we need to do is sow and patiently wait at the right time the lord will bring rain and make your harvest bountiful you may have sown in tears but you will reap with shouts of joy That's what we read in the Bible. You may have gone out weeping, bearing the seeds for sowing, but you will return home with shouts of joy. Your tears will never be in vain. The burden you bore is not going to be in vain. You are hurt by some annoying people. You are defeated by treason, disloyalty, and betrayal of some people. The God of justice is right near your door. The God who rewards justly is near you. Your prayers will be answered. Do not be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't be anxious. You will get your justice very soon, brother. Sister, you will get your justice. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21, we read that Jesus endured all that was destined for him and no deceit was found in his mouth. He didn't retaliate. He did not threaten. Instead, he entrusted himself to him. who judges justly what happened then he was taken to the cross died and was buried but raised alive on the third day that's why the lord is telling you be patient commit your ways to the lord and wait patiently in the lord your harvest is nearby hallelujah hallelujah god bless you